How's it going guys? I'm Nipichan. There we are back and I did want to talk about Twitch changing their policies back one day after it was released um, but I ended up rambling for 20 minutes off a topic a lot about a lot of different things how I feel about different things I don't know I just felt like talking um, the topic changed a lot so stick with it if you want to hear a lot of interesting stories and my dumbass opinion about a lot of those things uh, that's just what I do I don't know why I can talk that much about random shit continuously i know i stop a lot of times like i pause but that's because my english is okay it's not perfect i sometimes forget words in english uh, certain types of words that i want to use but later on i remember them and probably say them so in any case hopefully you guys enjoy i did like i say want to talk about twitch policies i did do that a bit um, but i like rambled on about like the consequences of later on and other platform policies and shit like that and also about how i grew up and how technology has changed a lot and how i pity this generation <laughs> um also how we need to toughen up a bit as people again in my opinion um this is all my opinion again please if you have your own opinion write it in the comments i would love to read in every opinion i do not have well i'm very stubborn so uh your opinion might be wrong in my eyes but it's yours and my opinion might be wrong in your eyes but it's mine I do like reading other people's opinions like I said it opens my mind sometimes a bit but I am stubborn so it takes a lot to open my mind. Any case, hopefully guys enjoy if you did not enjoy you know what to do like and subscribe share and that's why something up with my brilliant content by clicking the notification bell and hopefully guys just enjoy because that is the most important part remember spread the episode words like the fire Sam of course and hopefully guys enjoy and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers! Cool so well, let me just turn these off so you don't have to hear it in the background um yeah basically it's been a day well not a day a day after the twitch updated their guidelines and policies about that artistic nudity shit basically softcore porn um they like took it back they were just like yeah no we messed up it's dumb blah 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 that's what i heard i haven't done a video on this so this is like four days later i know it's probably old news already but i thought why not make a video since i already made one on it um we're gonna watch charlie again hear what he has to say um but they basically just realized hey we're dumb we're not going to do that we don't want to be simps in the public eye you know so yeah they took everything back uh, <laughs> like they always do and yeah let's hear what the other facts of the matter are because i don't know them but charlie will we all know charlie will well i just have to For click Twitch's there new policy update that they rolled out and it's been just a little over 24 hours, and they immediately threw their hands up, waved the <laughs> yeah. flag, and surrendered, saying, Goodness gracious, heavens to Betsy, this was too far, too much, we could have never seen this coming, we're rolling back this change, yeah. we're reverting it. So, for those that don't know, yesterday, Twitch made a guidelines update to what type of content they allow on their platform mm -hmm. when it comes to sexually suggestive material. The it can be summed up as softcore porn, basically. That's what they allowed on the channel as long as it's artistic. So that means like fucking drawings, um, maybe body painting, all those types of things. They like for 24 hours, they were legalized on the platform, you know. They were actually part of the platform, which is fucking crazy. But yeah, you can't expect dumb people to make smart decisions, I guess. The biggest change that raised the most eyebrows is they made a sweeping alteration to their artistic nudity policy. Yeah. Where they basically gave everyone the green light to get fucking insano style with it. They opened Pandora's <laughs> box allowing pretty much all types of nudity as long as there was artistic content exactly like soft animation, sculpting all of that this was like the big bang that created a universe of porn on Twitter. yeah basically if you went to the art category in particular on the platform <laughs> over the last 24 hours you were i wouldn't know that because i'm not a beta bitch i don't watch twitch not that it's only beta bitches watching twitch it's just not something that interests me like i said i also would never just go out of my way to watch fucking basically softcore porn <laughs> what's the point man i'm not i'm not that fucking horny of a dude i have my times but uh yeah it's not like something i would go out and do you know it's fucking weird so for them to do that on the platform that's basically for children like i said in my previous points uh, it's younger male audience younger male younger female audience Basically, people that 
should not have easily access to this, but they do. Uh, I know they also have access to a lot what, hardcore shit. Yeah, a lot more hardcore shit. Because uh, it is 2023, almost 2024. Uh, we are not dumb anymore. I mean, I know my little sister, she's like six. And she already knows how to operate a phone, how to Google, how to watch YouTube, all that shit. So we live in a generation where everything's easily accessed. It's just how it is. You can't, like protect against that that's just how the next generation is going to grow up with my generation i was at least like think grade four before i got a phone and it was a bbm and uh if you don't remember bbms oh no it's a blackberry not bbm bbm was the fucking thing on it yeah a blackberry but if you remember blackberries and how hard it was to google on those things and actually search because it was still technically like a keypad thing uh you'd know the struggle i think i watched my first youtube video on a blackberry and it was a PewDiePie video. Uh, it was a lot of struggle to get that thing to work though. Because that is one of the dumbest things that uh, the humans have invented. I think my Nokia that I had. I had this little fucking big ass red Nokia that I always used to play that snake game on. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that operated better. Uh, but yeah, that was when I got my first phone. And then I got a Samsung S1 a few years after... Uh, they came out like i think when i was grade six or seven no five or six yeah five or six and then i got like a samsung s3 mini when they still made those because uh, it was smaller i could keep it safe and stuff like that i mean yeah i was i had a phone i still grew up in that generation where my phone it's going to sound like like to the new generation is going to sound old but to the old generation is going to sound just just how it is i remember my s3 mini i love that phone i had lit like a orange neon orange cover for it but the thing is with the old covers is it was actually just something that you took off the back cover of the phone to see the battery and stuff when you could still do that children yes you could see the battery and the stuff and you also used to slide your sim card in there there was this little slot that you took your sim card Yes, I am old. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I remember you take off the cover, you see the battery, and then you put on that other new cover. And it was a flip cover, man. So it covered your phone like that. And then you could, like, if you wanted, you just open it and you text whatever and you close it again. That That's what I grew up with. And then you got all these new things like, okay, this is my phone right now. It's pretty broken. Uh, my other phone also broke. Yeah, yeah, I'm not very good with phones. But it's a Samsung S9. Uh, I took my mom's old phone. Because I don't want to buy a new one. I'm, I'm broke, bro. <laughs> I can't afford shit like this. So I took this, but it falls the whole time. So everything's cracked. The full screen is cracked. The back screen is cracked. I don't know why I'm doing a review on my phone right there. The point being is, I grew up in a like different time. Like It was in between the, the, the revolution or the evolution of mankind with technology, in my opinion. Because I remember when I was small, we had weird-ass TVs. Um... There weren't a lot of phones. When I got a bit bigger, there were phones, but I wasn't allowed to have them because they were expensive, like the Blackberries. Blah, blah, blah. We got newer televisions, got a PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, you know. And then it went all the way up to where we are now. I'm pretty happy where I was born because I could live through this technological like advancement. It's something to live through. I mean, when I was in grade four or three, I think is the era that YouTube actually started. So before that, YouTube wasn't that big. Uh, it was a small platform. It looked way different. Uh, if you want to go see how it looked in the past, I think some of the old PewDiePie videos he shows, like I think in his Fridays with PewDiePie, he shows um, the old platform and how he like blah, blah, blah. That's how it used to look, and it was very hard to maneuver, especially for me, a child that had nothing to do with the internet yet. Um, so yeah, I think I'm very privileged to grow up in this era. I am like slightly on the negative side. Well, I can't say negative side. I pity the children that are growing up in this day of the age. Um, I don't know if techno technology is going to keep advancing at the rate as that it is. I pretty sure soon they're going to hit the fucking roof and it's going to be a while before they break through the roof and continue up to the heavens or whatever Oop, i accidentally hit my table whoops um but yeah i i pity them because uh they're not going to be as pure anymore uh, i think a lot of people are like the whole world's just changing you when i was small <laughs> little child 
I used to play outside uh, with my friends. That was the best time. My friend lives on a small plot of land. Well, not small. It's big. It's called in South Africa. You get farms, and then you get a plot. A plot is a little. Uh, is bigger than a normal house, uh, like the land where you, where you live on, and then you get a farm that's obviously massive. Um, so he lived on there and we used to climb trees there. He had this fucking awesome tree house that his father built that we play upon. Uh, we climbed trees, like I said, we used to jump over to the neighbor's houses, cut down the dead trees with axes and add to that house uh, that we wanted to build. We used to play, uh, they had uh, these, uh, what's it called? Reeds. Yeah, they had these reeds because they had a little like old dam in the back of the yard that wasn't used anymore, but the reeds grew apart or, like around that. We used to go in there and cut down the reeds and also use them for shit, like to make spears. And it's it's just a whole different thing. And that now that I'm actually like, I'm 20 years old now, so I feel old. Not that I am old. It just feels like it. You know, it's like a new era for me. I've been stuck <laughs> in this teenager years, like the tens for 10 years. Uh, well, technically nine. Ah, uh, technically 10, yeah. And then I finally upgraded now and I still feel the fucking same. I thought I'd f feel like more mature and blah, blah, blah. But I am not. I don't know how this turned into a fucking monologue about me and my life and the fucking... Oh, yeah. I was talking about the children and their exes. Like I said, I pity them because um, they're not going to be as pure anymore. They have access to a lot of dumb shit. On the internet thanks to a lot of gruesome and gif people you know in afrikaans will say gham or kras uh, <laughs> there's a lot of different people uh on the internet and most of them are bad and they transform some sites into bad sites and stuff like that so for twitch to want to do that to technically go over to the softcore porn like he's probably going to say now there was a lot i'm not going to watch the entire video i'm giving i'm leaving it my own opinion i'm not gonna steal it he said what he had to say i think i like made a whole monologue on that so i don't think we need to watch the entire video otherwise it's gonna be an hour-long video so yeah i know i'm my speciality is just talking shit about random stuff my mind wavers a lot like two different points as you just saw uh i don't know why i can do it it's just something i can do but i enjoy it uh, so yeah, like I said, I pity them. They, they are going to have to have more resistance than any other generation before them, in my opinion, especially mental resistance to not get addicted to these sorts of things. Cause everywhere you go, you are like, you get some interaction with it, especially like the children these days. I know they're on TikTok. I delete the TikTok cause I'm not a child. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, no offense to the older people that actually use TikTok. Um, but uh, if you go on TikTok, most of the time your For You page changes and stuff. And then sometimes different stuff get recommended to you on your For You page. And there are a lot of women doing fucking, you know, suggestive dances and wearing minimal clothing to cooperate with the guidelines. And the, the smaller children are going to get like influenced by that, in my opinion. They are going to grow up to be the people that sit in their mom's basement watching <laughs> porn the whole time on their phones and doing nothing about it, not exercising because they just want to watch, getting addicted to it, basically. And I think that is the older generation's fault, our fault, for allowing all of these sites. I know, like, you can't technically ban that kind of stuff, but I mean... There are some certain aspects of that categories that they do ban. So why don't they just ban all those shit? So you have to actually access the dark web or something to go to these sites. Because um, I mean, for an adult, that's easy. I know how to access the dark web. Uh, so why not make it so that you actually have to have fucking intellect as a... Like if you're a child and you can access the dark web without getting your VPN your IP exposed and getting your whole family killed. I think you deserve to watch some porn like, but you understand what I mean? It's going to have that minimal effect. Um, I feel like they should be stricter on what they allow on YouTube. I know like the whole thing or the aspect that, uh, what's, what's the word for it? You know, the whole aspect of the woman that pulls in their audience, the appeal is yes, that the appeal of the woman is how they look on the internet. In all honesty, I have never 
heard someone go, um, maybe I'm just, just my friends or the people I know, but I've never heard someone go, oh yeah, no, go check out this female YouTuber or streamer. She's really good in games. No, it's always, go check out this female YouTuber or streamer. She's really good looking. She has phenomenal looks. She has phenomenal assets, you know. I, I refer to assets because I don't want to be vulgar on this channel a lot. I've What I do on this channel is I swear. Swearing is my thing because I fucking love swearing. Uh, it's the most descriptive language there is. If you have a problem with that, I'm sorry, but it's just true. <laughs> um, I try not to swear a lot. Like, I don't think I've sworn a lot in this video. But yet again, I don't remember what I said 10 seconds ago because I ramble on. But yeah, like I said, I think they should be stricter. It is going to influence a lot of female Twitch streamers uh, in the sense that they can't use what they what they appeal to their audience to with. Um, but I mean, like, honestly, it's going to be better for the future generation not to make a bunch of little horny, you know, Benjamins and Franklins running around just wanting to watch that shit the whole time. Now, that was me rambling on about it. I don't think Twitch will have that huge consequences on the little 24 hours that they did. They did probably influence thousands of children and made them addicted to these sorts of things. But uh, all, all phase love and war, I guess. I also do stand by that I think they should update the policies. Go update the policies. Make people being able to swear again and bully each other online. I know that sounds bad, but what I mean with bullying is a lot of these new people, the new generation and stuff, they're very sensitive, you know, they're not, if I grew up in a South Africa where we are not as woke as some people in the USA or other countries, so we still have that interaction of fucking banter, you know, we like to give each other shit on, a pre especially physical aspects, if you're on your friends group, you will get demolished in South Africa. I promise you, send your child to South African schools for a week. That thing would come running back crying because he would have been broken in that school. It's just how we are. We we break each other down to build each other up, if you understand what I mean. Because right now, when I was uh, in primary school, grade 1 to 7 is primary school, I think, right? I don't know. Uh, I was bullied a lot of my parents as you can see i'm not a normal fucking color both of my parents are white but i came out like i don't know golden it, i look like you know hash brown i look like that color the perfect hash brown is me <laughs> that's just what i am if i'm too long in the sun um i tan even more i get like really brown like you see me now in a few days well a few weeks you'll see my shades change because i will become more light again since, oh no, I'm actually going to the ocean again. I'm going to become darker. <laughs> I'm going to become darker, all right? That's just who I am, how my body is, and blah, blah, blah. But other children didn't understand that. So they would pick on me for that. And that made me insecure about it. So it did. I met some friends in high school that I really liked. Uh, and they fucking constantly <laughs> bullied the shit out of me because of my appearance. But the more they did it, the less I gave a shit. I became like more happy with who i am because i realized that people actually pay money to spray tan themselves this color so there must be something to appealing about this you know <laughs> and that's just um thanks to them i don't give a shit what anyone says you know you have your i can't say I don't give a shit because you have those days that someone throws a new insult that you've never heard that actually like hurts inside but you you know how to get over it because i mean you've been subject to that for five years through your friends your closest enemies are your friends basically uh so i don't know what that was but yeah i don't know why we rambled on about that i just that's what i mean people don't they need that fucking resistance from other people that the honesty the the quote-unquote friendly bullying you know that's to make us hard again not a bunch of people that just if our nail breaks we cry i mean I, the other day I cut open my hand with a piece of glass. I don't even fucking burst into tears. I walked to the fucking water. I said to my mom, hey, I cut myself. Do we have any plasters? I r rinsed it off. It was a huge ass fucking cut through my hand. Nothing happened. I cut almost cut off my pinky while I was working the other day. Well, not the other day, like a year ago. Because um, we were working with metal. Um, it was almost sheet metal, but it had like those uh, triangle or 
what diamond shapes cut into them so we that day the guy was doing this like wrecking it around i told him wait be calm don't do that it's gonna hurt me and then it like snapped and it cut my finger and it was like the whole piece on top here of my finger it was like off like hanging and it cut arteries obviously because i was standing there and i was bleeding a lot like the other the, the next day i went to the work i had to clean a pool of like brown rusted blood off of the floor because that's how much i bled i also became pale for the first time in my life you know actual white because <laughs> that's how much blood i lost that's just and I didn't cry. I went to the doctor. He said, um, well, there's no need for stitches. The, the skin is probably already dead. He fucking lied because the skin never fell, f fell off. It actually grew back. So I did need stitches, but fuck you, doctor. <laughs> but I mean, it's, you see, it's that, those things. We need to harden up as, a, as humans. I know the whole thing about humans is we don't adapt anymore. We adapt the things around us to be our comfort zone. You know, we don't, uh, that's why we're not evolving anymore, in my opinion because uh, we adapt the surrounding area so well that we have no need to evolve we're already where we want to be because we can adapt everything else you understand um but i still feel like uh in a sense of mental state because there's a lot of suicides in the world and all that shit uh we do definitely need to toughen up uh, to reduce that rate you know uh, i'm not saying that you're mentally weak when you kill yourself i'm just saying if you were mentally strong it will probably be harder to kill yourself <laughs> I don't know why uh, it sounds so um, dumb when I say it, but yeah, it's basically what I think. Anyways, I rambled on about a lot of shit. I don't know. I just wanted to talk. If you guys end up enjoying me just talking about shit, you know what? Do like, subscribe, share, notify yourself, and upload my brilliant content by clicking the notification bell. And hopefully, you guys, just enjoy uh, me rambling off topic a lot. Uh, if you do end up enjoying, I already said this shit. Remember, spread the episode with the virus. Hopefully, guys, enjoy. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.